know very well that asbestos uh, uh, represents a threat for public health. It causes cancer, lung cancer, it will cause mesothelioma, and it will cause uh, uh, chronic respiratory diseases, which are very uh, unpleasant for the patients and obviously causing a lot of uh, uh, suffering. And in addition to that, we know now from uh, recent studies uh, conducted by our colleagues at the research uh, on cancer, that it can be associated as well with uh, cancer of uh, uh, ovarian and laryngeal cancer. So I think uh, we have enough arguments to say that asbestos represent a major problem for public health. WHO has been conducting studies to look at uh, what was the evidence to say that uh, asbestos represent a, a problem for human health. You know, asbestos-related uh, diseases are not new. We have a lot of experience on that. And WHO conducted a comparative risk assessment. And uh, from there, we know that uh, an estimation of 125 million people around the world is exposed at the working environment, exposed to asbestos, all forms of asbestos. And we know as well that this is an underrepresentation because, in fact, we have figures only for people exposed at the working environment, but we know that there are other places where they can be exposed. We know as well that uh, there is an estimation of uh, more than 100,000 deaths that can be attributable to uh, exposure to asbestos, all type of uh, forms of asbestos. I think this is uh, uh, strong enough to, to say that it's, it's time to move now on more action related to the elimination of asbestos-related diseases. WHO has uh, the supreme body for, for uh, our policy recommendations, which is when the ministers of health of 194 countries meet here in Geneva and then they go for the World Health Assembly. We have a resolution uh, where uh, they requested us to do more on cancer control. And one of the ways to uh, address cancer control is to look at all types of cancer, the, and one of them is the one caused by asbestos. And uh, since then, we have been concentrating on uh, reducing asbestos-related uh, diseases, eliminating asbestos-related diseases, and, uh, and therefore, uh, by doing so, reducing the, the, the cancer caused by asbestos. We have another resolution. In the, we have a resolution where all member states request the WHO to develop a global plan of action on workers' health, and uh, part of that resolution asks us to go for a global campaign on elimination of of uh, asbestos-related diseases. So we have a very solid basis for conducting our work, plus the fact that uh, people have been suffering from asbestos-related diseases for, for years now, and the evidence now is overwhelming. WHO has a resolution saying that we need to go for a global campaign to eliminate uh, asbestos-related diseases. And there is a sentence that says, uh, with a differentiated approach, but this is related to the, the legal instruments you want to use at country level, but it's certainly not referring to uh, any differentiated forms of asbestos. For us, all forms of asbestos, including obviously chrysotile, are carcinogenic. And we have the evidence from uh, the latest one, and, but uh, we have plenty of evidence, comes from uh, uh, the, the IARC, which is our research uh, a, a, a cancer agency uh, that belongs to WHO. And that revision done by a, a, a very important number of scientists with a, a, an, an incredible consensus around that, they concluded that all forms of asbestos are carcinogenic, and all forms of asbestos means that chrysotile asbestos is definitely included. Chrysotile is not safe. Uh, we concluded that all forms of asbestos are carcinogenic to humans. 
And not only that, in the latest revision of IARC, they concluded that in addition to mesothelioma and lung cancer that uh, they were very well known and, and for which we have enormous evidence, we can add two other type of cancer, ovarian and laryngeal cancer, that we need to look for that. So all forms of, ca of uh, asbestos, including chrysotile asbestos, are carcinogenic. There is no ambiguity on WHO's position around that. We have plenty of documents where you can find these statements, and uh, we would like to go for a massive elimination of asbestos-related diseases, including, obviously, uh, chrysotile forms. For us, there is no safe use of chrysotile or any form of asbestos for different reasons. Uh, it will require, on the manipulation, it will require le levels of uh, safety that in developing countries cannot be ensured. In addition to that, when you have to remove or, or when asbestos or chrysotile asbestos goes into the waste, this will require as well uh, an special manipulation. So for us, there is no safe threshold, there is no uh, safe manipulation or uh, use of, uh, uh, of uh, chrysotile asbestos or any form of asbestos. Of course, the countries, they need to go for uh, the way they want to uh, handle the, the, this major public health issue. In many countries around the world, they have banned the use of all forms of, of asbestos, and in other countries, they go for regulatory measures that uh, might not go as far as banning, but that is still very effective. I think WHO has very, very strong uh, statements about chrysotiles. I will refer to our fact sheets, they are available in our web pages, where I don't think there is any ambiguity. WHO very clearly states that, based on the results of the monograph on uh, asbestos uh, by IARC, which is our research uh, agency on cancer, all forms of asbestos are carcinogenic including, obviously, chrysotile. So I think uh, the, 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 the information is widely available for, for member states, for people, for scientists, for, for uh, general population. So anyone can have access to this very clear statement about the fact that WHO considers that it will be feasible to go for uh, elimination of asbestos-related diseases. And obviously, the most efficient way to do that will be to eliminate the cause of asbestos-related diseases, so stop the use of uh, asbestos, all type of asbestos. The evidence is there. I mean, there is uh, extremely solid evidence. It's true that in uh, asbestos uh, cancer, asbestos-induced cancer, it will take 20 years to, 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 have, uh, uh, to appear, for instance. So it will be difficult then uh, to uh, differentiate uh, uh, lung cancer caused by asbestos by other causes like uh, tobacco, for instance, in countries where you don't have these uh, uh, epidemiological studies linking exposure at the working environment to asbestos to uh, type of cancer. But uh, in developing countries, we don't have, in many of them, we don't even have a cancer registry. But we have done these very long epidemiological studies following the entire population exposed and then looking at the results for many years. We have done that in, in, in several countries. The evidence is very solid. There are no reasons to think that in Africa will not happen the same or in Asia. Therefore, for us, the evidence is there. We know that cancer is, is, is happening and we don't want to wait 20 years until they, 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 we start to, to count the number of deaths and to look at the increase in the number of cancers. So I think the time to act is now. We have very solid evidence and more than enough to say that we need to eliminate asbestos related diseases. The evidence about the carcinogenicity comes from uh, uh, our colleagues working at the uh, International Agency for Research on Cancer. They look very much at uh, uh, the environmental causes of cancer and they have uh, 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 prestige, they have uh, an enormous credibility and their studies are based on a review of the literature 
and uh, scientific consensus, and then they come up with their recommendations. The latest revision is from 2009, and since then, since then there is not new uh, uh, evidence or studies, but all the evidence proves that all forms of asbestos are carcinogenic to humans, and in addition to that, uh, until now, we knew that uh, uh, asbestos could be uh, lung cancer and mesothelioma are attributable to asbestos. Now we know that there are two other types of cancers that can be attributable to exposure to asbestos as well, which is the ovarian cancer and laryngeal cancer. So we will be looking at that as well, but um, this is in addition to the evidence that we have until now that uh, uh, asbestos exposure is carcinogenic to humans. We have uh, 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 the monograph produced by our colleagues in IARC. We have uh, previous uh, uh, studies in WHO. We have a fact sheet that gives all the facts about uh, the evidence we have on asbestos. And we have at the moment more than 50 countries that officially ban the use of asbestos. I think uh, now with the resolution on, on uh, workers' health and the global campaign to eliminate asbestos-related diseases, WHO will be concentrating not on producing more evidence, but on now really going to the cause of the disease, which will be uh, promoting the stop of the use of uh, all forms of, as of asbestos because they are responsible for cancer. Well, in public health, when you know the cause of a disease, you will go and tackle that cause. This is what we call uh, primary prevention. If you are dealing with a cholera outbreak, obviously you will treat the patients, but more importantly, you will make sure that the, 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 the water that people is, is, is drinking and the one that is transmitting probably the disease is, is clean and safe. So you will eliminate the cause of the disease. In the case of uh, mesothelioma and lung cancer caused by asbestos, is very simple. The, 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 the way to, to address the, the, the cause of the disease will be to promote the stop the use of all forms of, of asbestos. So we are working with countries, providing them the scientific evidence, uh, giving them the, the, the facts that we, we have a very solid around uh, the stop of the use of asbestos, and we tell them that based on evidence they are safe substitutes for, for asbestos, and uh, if they use the right technology and economic arguments, it's feasible to stop the use of asbestos, and by doing so, protecting the, the, the health of, of the population. The most efficient way of eliminating that asbestos-related diseases, the safest way, will be to stop the use of all forms of asbestos and therefore we will be able to stop uh, uh, exposure and therefore uh, we will stop to see the diseases caused by exposure to asbestos. So the most efficient way will be to stop the use of all forms of asbestos. For WHO to conduct this uh, global campaign on, asbest on elimination of asbestos-related diseases, we have to do several things. One, to continue to produce uh, and disseminate the evidence that we have. And, and, and that's why it's so important, uh, the opportunities to, to uh, uh, disseminate the, the, and do more advocacy on the work we have been done on, on the scientific evidence around the fact that uh, asbestos is carcinogenic. Second, we, we, we are working with countries on the way they can phase out the use of asbestos. If they can ban it, it will be even better for us but at least to stop the use of all forms of asbestos. Obviously, we need to work with countries as well on proposing measures for the safe removal of asbestos on those buildings where the asbestos is already there, and then obviously conducting campaigns for uh, very active uh, uh, um, uh, camp at country level for people to demand more action on stopping the use of asbestos. Obviously for those uh, persons who unfortunately have been already uh, affected and they are suffering from uh, mesothelioma or lung cancer, uh, we will propose uh, uh, adequate treatment and rehabilitation when possible and follow up of the patients.
the most efficient way, as I say, will be the stop of the use of all forms of, of asbestos. Now, whether there is a global ban campaign, that will require a negotiated convention uh, by member states. That's something that uh, maybe goes beyond WHO's uh, capacity to go for this legally binding treaty. But in fact, there are more than 50 countries that already ban the use of asbestos, and others are moving into that. We want the countries to move on stopping the use of asbestos the way they prefer to do it, uh, adapted to their uh, local uh, capacity. But uh, I think it has to do be done as soon as possible. The evidence is there, and the, uh, the health of the people is at risk.